Tuesday morning right now, it's about 9.30 a.m. Cooking a little breakfast, getting ready for the day. Uh, I actually started my day like a couple hours ago, but today we are working on speed and power for today's workout. So I want to bring you through a speed and power day. Uh, I probably won't get any of these done until later, but today's workouts, we have a uh, interval sprint run today. So I think it's six by one minutes. And then we have the low bro bike workout. So that one is always a killer. It is a quad destroyer. And you're gonna come along for the ride today. Not we're, we're not going outside obviously being the trainer, but you are gonna see that one happen. So we're gonna finish making breakfast. If you follow me, you know what the breakfast channel is, what the breakfast is. Uh, You know, and you just gotta, you know, I, I came to the realization. Huh. So I came to the realization the other day, actually last night, that uh, this race is coming really, really fast. Like we're under 90 days, so we're in the 80s, and like the season is coming together so quick. It's, it's, it's kind of scary, but. At the same time, it's good because I've already started thinking ahead of what we're going to do, but I'm not going to get into that today. What I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to finish breakfast. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to finish out my day. i got a couple meetings i got to do today, a, couple, a lot of downtime where I can get work done. Uh, and then this afternoon, I don't have to drive to the gym. We're just going to hit the run. I'll bring the GoPro, get some run footage, and then we will hit the bike workout to end the day and then kind of wrap up and kind of summarize where we are and where we're going. So, let me finish making my food and I'll see you later. And so you guys don't think I'm full of shit, this is breakfast, oats, egg whites, one whole egg, sliced turkey meat. You know, here's some, here's some turkey meat up in here. And then sriracha sauce to top it off, the go-to breakfast. Can't beat this. It is 4.28. I just closed the laptop from work. I gotta go down and run. Then I get on, gotta get on the bike. So, we're gonna go take care of that now. I'm gonna change. It's 70 degrees outside, so it's gorgeous. It's perfectly, perfect temperatures for what I gotta do today, especially since it's been so cold lately. I'm gonna get out. I've got the GoPro ready to roll. And we're gonna go do some lactate intervals. So it's not even full sprints, it's just lactate intervals. So it's one minute at lactate threshold and with a recovery, I think, I don't know if it's one minute or two minute recovery, but when they get changed, I'll explain everything. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're outside, ready to run. Uh, today's run is a 36 minute run, eight by one minute at lactate threshold. So basically, here's what the workout looks like. <clears throat> it's gonna be a 10 minute warm up at a, a zone one. So I'm not gonna go 12, 16, I'm gonna go lots, a little faster than that. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. Then we got eight by one minute at lactate threshold. This, this one has it at nine, 12 minutes per mile, and then a recovery. Um, at 1027 so basically zone 2 recovery um, well it's supposed to be zone 4 and zone 3 but those are those are wrong but I'm gonna stick with them this week and then a 10 minute cool down back in zone 2 so why am I gonna stick with these paces and why do I say they're wrong well if you've been following on Instagram when I post my runs my runs have been 
a little faster than zone two. Uh, they've been in like the low tens. Some of them have been the upper nines uh, per mile. And I said to Coach Dom a couple weeks ago, or I think it was last week actually, I said these zone two runs are getting a little easier and it might be time to re, re uh, evaluate my thresholds. So next week, since I'm building my own schedule with supervision, uh, as I am a coach in training, next week I'm gonna put a threshold run on my schedule just to reevaluate my my uh, my zones um, basically that'll be a 45 minute test where I just run 45 minutes hard as I want to and see if my threshold has changed if it does which I believe it has it will readjust all my zones make them a little faster so my threshold to go up but my zone one two three four and five will also get faster which is what i want because you want to be fast but at the same time i didn't want to do it before my zone two run this weekend just because i kind of want to it's a two hour run on saturday or sunday whatever the hell day i put it on and i just wanted to kind of keep it where i'm at now so i'm nice and comfortable i can go slower and not feel bad about it and that's that but garmin is ready to go it is five o'clock, as you see on the watch. Time to get this party started and put whatever music on. Like I said, it's only 36 minutes, so I'm probably just gonna end up somewhere over there. There's a nice little straight road where I will do my sprints. One minute on, come back around, one minute down, etc. Eight by one minute, so let's do it. I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hating on me? It's not adding up I do roll like a Mack truck Country heart, I'ma cop a farm and go act up Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up Keep it real, I do this once a month, I don't rap much I just take the money and go stack up Only buying car heart, car car, take it tatted up All that other bull, it don't matter much You only climb me, I put the ladders up No fault I done doubled up on the workload I think I fell in love with the bankroll Pray up, get money, then we lay low Then we lay low Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add, it up. add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. bankroll, bankroll. Euro. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up I'm just doing me, everything is on me Oh, you matter what? Add it up, told you if it's all me Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hatin' on me? It's not adding up Add it up Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hatin' on me? It's not adding up Less than ten Five, four, three Done with the intervals. I'm on the cool down now. So, got about nine and a half minutes till we're done. I'm just gonna walk the cool down and I'll see you at the house. All right. All right. <clears throat> Run is done. I'll put it up over here on the screen. Uh, total 3.13 miles, 35 minutes. I, I cut 59 seconds off the cool down. Whatever. Let's go to my intervals. You can see I went pretty fast today. Um, so the warm up, obviously, 10.43. I said I was gonna go faster than 12 minutes. Um, intervals, target was between like 9.30, 9.40 something and 8.50 something. Uh, a little faster than that on interval one, 8.39, 8.30, 8.02, 8.25, 8.18, 7.57, 8.19, and 7.57 for the last one. So 
I definitely think it's time to reevaluate my lactate threshold or my threshold pace. So I'll probably do that next week, but we're done. I'm gonna go grab a little bite to eat, a small little snack roll, and then I'm gonna get on the bike soon to get that big run or that big bike done. Um, I'm not looking forward to this. When I get inside, I'll tell you all about it. All right, peanut butter marshmallow sandwich. There's a little bit of carbs, fat, tiny bit of protein. Once we're done with this, I'll go in the garage and I'll hit the bike. It's only about an hour and a little over an hour for that workout, but it's gonna be an ass kicker. So, <clears throat> let me finish my semi. I'll see you in the garage. And I know I already said I'll see you in the garage, but I, I mean it this time, I really do. A few moments later. All right, so finally in the garage, it's a little after six, what, 6.20. I got an hour 35, but I'm gonna shorten it to an hour 25 or so. Uh, basically, like I said, I'm gonna put the workout up here. This is called the five by five low bro workout <clears throat> or power workout. Basically, you got a 10 minute workout building up from, you know, just a warm up, 10 minute warm up, 15 minute active period, uh, you know, zone one, zone two, just trying to get the legs going. Then you have five by five minutes in the hardest gear I got. Five minutes and then a five minute easy zone one recovery. Do that five times. And then I'm going to skip the bottom active session and then I'm going to go right to the cool down because I'm, I'm going to be hungry. I'm already hungry. It's not going to be till like 7.35 by the time I'm done. But that is today's bike workout. Now, because it's getting dark in the garage, I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of recording done. But if I can, I'll get the camera on this. If not, I just might skip this and go right to the recap later and just post my numbers for you. So we'll see if, if you see bike clips in the next segment that I recorded. If not, I'll see you with the recap. All right, so I just finished the bike. Um, I think it was dark. I did I did try to get some footage of like the chain and the, the, the bottom gear and me thugging it out. Uh, but I think it was too dark, so you're probably not gonna see, you probably didn't see any of that footage. But here's the ride. Uh, the third one, I had some chain issues. It kept popping off the front gears. No big deal, it just got back on, kept on riding. But that one was an ass kicker. It was basically a lactate threshold bike ride where the five minutes was building up the lactate, the lactic acid, and then the five minute recovery was to flush it out. So it was tough, but now it's about 7.30ish. I'm gonna go inside, change real quick, eat dinner with Connie, shower, and then I'm gonna come back and tell you about a dream I had last night before we close out the video. So let me go take care of what I gotta do and I'll see you in a bit. All right, so it's just before nine o'clock. This is the last thing and then we're gonna sign off this episode, but I had a dream last night, and this is no shit. I've told a hundred, probably a dozen people this already. Well, in the dream, <clears throat> I had raced my best race ever, my best triathlon ever at Ironman Texas, right? I got done, I felt amazing. I remember, you know, I was jumping around, I was like, no stomach issues, no GI issues, nothing. I had the best marathon of, you know, at the end of a triathlon I ever had. And then I looked at the time, and it said 13 hours and 17 minutes, and I got pissed. I was like, there's no way I didn't break 13. So then I started thinking, started getting at me all day. And I was like, you know what? If I don't break 13 hours at Ironman Texas, I quit. I'm retiring. I'm gonna I'm done. This race is I've been training too, I've been training too hard for this. This race is too perfect for me to have a 13 hour, a, a greater than 13 hour race. So that's my word. If I break, if I don't break 13 hours at this race, I'm going to retire from triathlon, at least for a little while. But if I get, if I'm under 13 hours, who knows what's going to happen in the future? But over 13 hours, I'm going to be really, really mad, and I might even, I, I'm probably going to retire at least temporarily from from this race until I figure out the hell's wrong with me and why I can't I break 13 hours on the flattest course in North America. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, next one. It's probably gonna be a little bit longer video. I already have a plan for that one, uh, but 
if you like this, you were 80 something days away from race day, at least from the filming of this video. Follow along, like, subscribe, comment below, and let's let's keep this going. We only have a few more weeks until race day. Uh, a few more videos left, so it's like a handful of videos. What's that, 11, 12 weeks? 88 days is 12, 12 weeks. Okay, 12 weeks, whatever, until race day. Let's just finish this series out strong. Let's have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.